This episode of Unscripted is sponsored by Dubby. Dubby is a no-jitter energy drink mix that doesn't have that energy drink taste, and it gives me the energy to do YouTube and Twitch. You can get 10% off your order at WGG with code CROOKEDDOESSTUFF. There's a link in the description down below. Thanks, Dubby, for sponsoring this episode, and here's Unscripted. Hello everyone, I am Crooked and I do stuff, and this is Unscripted, a series where I take a completely unscripted look at games and give it a 1 through 10 rating. Today, we are playing The Lost Vikings 2. Uh, I played The Lost Vikings uh, on the last episode, so, uh, yeah, you know, uh, let's go check out the sequel. Um, from what I remember, this game is better in every single way, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see if it still is. So, the Vikings have kind of gotten some upgrades since the last one, but it's still the game that, you know, we all know and love. Uh, so now there's, like, jet boots on Eric. Um, there's, uh, this witch. Um, instead of, uh, a bow and arrow. He now has a laser sword and a uh, stretchy arm. And then uh, Olaf can fart. And that, that's, that's pretty much his, his new power. Everything else is the same. Okay, so we get teleported away. And uh, yeah, you know, it starts off very similarly to how the last game did, which is great, because it has that sense of familiarity that, you know, you might have from the first game, except it's kind of Halloween-y themed. Uh, it still has all of the puzzle platforming that's really good that you would have played the original for, except it gets better. So, we'll see how in a little bit. Uh, let's talk about controls. First and foremost, controls-wise. Uh, it controls pretty much exactly the same as the last game. Uh, so, because of that, it has great controls. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I accidentally hit a button that caused Olaf to drop his shield, and that, uh, that hurt. Just, just a bit. Uh, so... You have to go collect these different things that allow her to teleport you. I already gave her the eye, and then I need the bat wing, and, uh, yeah. Alright, so we get to teleport again. Um, pretty soon we're gonna see some of the changes. So, uh, in the meantime, let's talk about graphics. It looks better than the last game. Which is saying a lot, because Lost Vikings looks great, honestly. It, it's a great game. It looks great. It plays great. It's just a great time. Um, okay, I know what I have to do here. So, uh, to get the key, I have to take this Viking over here. Oh, God. Uh, Olaf has to be closer to the edge. And he can actually walk. Oh, I thought he could walk with the other Vikings on there. I was wrong, though. He can't. Uh, no! Get to the edge. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh. Well, I know that he can glide, but... Is that what I'm supposed to do here? Yeah, glide. Um. Oh, he can shrink now. Okay. I uh, I didn't realize that. I forgot about that power because this is like the only time that you ever use it. Um. Still going through and. Uh, I still have to. Collect all the things. Skeleton's trying to be all spooky. 
and scary, like a spooky, scary skeleton. Um, it does a really good job of showing off all the different powers and, you know, the changes from the last game that you can do. Um... Oh, I can double jump as Eric. Okay. So they all have two powers now. And that's cool. Uh, well, maybe. I don't know if they all have two powers, because it doesn't seem like, uh... Balrog, I think his name is? I don't think he has two powers. Um... So back to what I was saying, uh, sound-wise, it sounds spooky. It sounds great. When Skelemans are there, it sounds like Skelemans. Uh, when it's breathing fire, it sounds like breathing fire. Overall, the sound for this game is also great. Um... It's... It's done really, really well. Matter of fact, it looks better than the last game, and the controls are tighter than the last game. So it has two aspects so far that are just great. Um, then uh, let's get into graphics. It looks better than the last game. Uh, I absolutely love the Halloween kind of theme going on here. Uh, it looks spooky and scary and exactly what you would want from a Halloween game. And it gets even cooler than that. Uh, I'm still not there? Wow. Okay. So, uh, I may not get to it, but long story short, you can, um actually get uh well there's different characters that show up um one of the times that you teleport you end up with a werewolf instead of uh one of the vikings and then you end up with um a dragon instead of one of them and uh, they have similar powers, but they're not all quite the same. Okay, that's going to be dangerous. Uh, no! Go back up there, you fool. Alright. So, I think I might be able to get it here. Whoa, I somehow missed the skeleton. Alright, now he's gonna come down here. He can grab things at a distance. Um, Olaf needs to go over here. And there's all these hints around that teach you how to play the game, which, awesome. Uh, very important for this style of game because you may not know what your characters can do. Uh, I'm just really hoping that I can get to the last part because if I can, um, or when I show you, I can show you like what the other characters do. And uh, then I'll be able to, you know, give an actual score to this game. But if not, I, I have a score in mind. Oh, no. Okay, well, I think he's done. Oh, God. I didn't mean to stay all small. All right, now I go up here. Shrink, grow, do that, grab the key, oh, yeah, alright, and then shrink, 
I'm just gonna get him over there a bit. Gonna have Eric come by. Alright, now. Olaf comes over here. And Eric does his thing. We come up, we both go up this. And that's all three. Alright. That is the Arog. Cool. So here, maybe... Nope. Okay. So, doesn't look like we're going to be able to get to it today. But that's fine. Because that means that you have a reason to go play this amazing game. And honestly, I gave a really high score to The Lost Vikings because it's a really good game. But if I had to say that any game was better, it's Lost Vikings 2. And for a score... I'd give Lost Vikings 2 would 10 out of 10. The game is fantastic. It has hidden items. It does everything the first game does, but improves on it. And honestly, there's nothing really that's bad about this game. It's just a really fun time. So, with that being said, comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Lost Vikings. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed what you saw. Hit that subscribe button so that way you never miss out on an episode of Unscripted. And hit that notification bell so that way you'll be notified whenever a new episode comes out. And with all that being said, I do want to thank you for watching Unscripted. And I will see you on the next episode. Bye!